hi guys welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you how you can make these beautiful roses i will tell you step by step how you can make it and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give us a like Two small, three medium, and five uh, large. We are going to start by making one magic circle. One and two chains. And then we're going to make 10 double crochets into the magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, continue making five more double crochets. Close the magic circle. And we're going to slip a stitch on top of the first double crochet made. Now we're going to chain one. For the number two, we are going to make increases with a half double crochet. And we are going to be hiding this tail along the way. At the end of this uh, round, we should have 20 half double crochets. Let's continue making two half double crochets in each, in each stitch. A slip a stitch on top of the first half double crochet made and we are going to count six stitches going to the right one two three four five and six and we are going to place a marker for the number three chain one we are going to make a total of six single crochets one two, three, four, five, and six single crochets. Now in the next eight stitches, we are going to make increases with half double crochet. We have the first increase we are going to continue making two half double crochets in each stitch to the marker. Okay, continue repeating two half double crochets until the marker. I have eight increases with half double crochet. Remove the marker and finish making one single crochet in the last six stitches. We have two three, four, five, six. Slip a stitch to join. And cut the yarn. Uh, we need to make two small size. I have two here. For the medium size pattern, we are going to repeat the first one and the second one as for the small one. So start by making one magic circle and then we are going to make two chains and 10 double crochets into the magic circle. Okay, we are going to close the magic circle. A slip a stitch on top of the first double crochet and for the number two, chain one and we are going to make eight uh, ten increases with a half double crochet at the end we should have 20 half double crochets and 
a slip stitch on top of the first half double crochet for the number three chain one make one single crochet in the first stitch and one increase in the next one single crochet one increase And you're going to repeat the same sequence, one single crochet and one increase all the way around. Okay, we have 30 stitches at the end of the number three. We're going to finish with one slip stitch. And now we're going to count nine stitches to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, for the next round, we are going to start by making one chain, go back to the same space and make one single crochet. And we're going to make a total of nine single crochets. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, next we're going to chain two single crochet in the next stitch two chains one single crochet two chains one single crochet two chains one single crochet and we are going to repeat this until the marker okay we are going to make two chains remove the marker and one single crochet Okay, we have nine single crochet in this side and we are going to have nine single crochet in the other side. Finish with one slip stitch, one chain and we can cut the join. And we need three of these. For the large patterns, we're going to repeat the number one and two. We're going to start with magic circle, 10 double crochets, and then for the number two, we're going to make eight increases with half double crochet. For the number three, we're going to make one chain, one half double crochet in the first stitch, and in the next stitch, we are going to make one increase. half double crochet in the first stitch and one increase and this is the sequence for the number three one half double crochet and then one increase and at the end we should have 30 half, half double crochets A slip a stitch on top of the first half double crochet And now we are going to count nine stitches to the right. Okay, I have my nine stitches here. For, for the last row, chain one, beginning in the first stitch, make one single crochet. And I will make a total of nine single crochets. Okay, I have nine single crochets. Then we are going to start making two chains and one single crochet in the next stitch. Two chains, one single crochet, two chains, one single crochet. And we are going to repeat this until we reach the marker. I have two chains here remove the marker and then we are going to finish making nine single crochets then a slip stitch to join and you can fasten off and finish we are going to make the leaf and for that we are going to make a total of 12 chains one two three four five six seven eight 
9, 10, 11, and 12. Beginning in the second chain from the hook, we are going to make one single crochet. Half double crochet in the next. One double crochet in the next. Then we are going to make triple crochet. Yarn over twice. We're going to make two triple crochet. One. In the next uh, chain, make one more triple crochet. Then in the next uh, chain, we are going to make an, an increase with triple crochets. So yarn over twice, and in the same chain, we are going to make two triple crochets. Then one triple crochet in the next chain, triple crochet in the next, one double crochet in the next, half double crochet in the next, and in the last chain we're going to make a total of three single crochets, one, two, and three. And we are going to repeat the same in the other side. We are going to start with one half double crochet, one double crochet, triple crochet in the next two chains, and then one increase with triple crochets in the next. One triple crochet in the next. Triple crochet in the next. Double crochet in the next. Half double crochet. And one single crochet. Finish with one slip stitch on top of the first a stitch main and then we are going to chain one and we are going to slip stitch into the same space chain one a slip stitch chain one a slip stitch and we are going to repeat this uh, to the middle of these three stitches here in the top Okay, here in the middle stitch here, oh, we have one, two, and three single crochets on so the middle. We are going to slip a stitch, chain two, slip a stitch into the same space. Now chain one, slip a stitch in the next stitch, one chain, and slip a stitching. You are going to be repeating this all the way to the end. Okay, I have one chain here and I will slip stitch here in the last stitch available. And now we are going to place the leaf like this and we are going to go up with a slip stitch. So, like this. Go to the next space here. We're going to repeat this all the way in the middle. And one last stitch here. Here we are going to cut the yarn. Insert the hook in the back. We're going to bring in this yarn and then we're going to hide it here in the back.
And now I will show you how to make this part. We are going to start by making a magic circle. Chain one, and then we're going to make six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We are going to close the magic circle, but not all the way through because we need a space to pass the stem. Slip stitch on top of the first single crochet. For the number two, we are going to make six increases with single crochets. At the end, we should have 12 single crochets. Okay, finish with one slip stitch, one chain. And for the number three, we are going to make one single crochet in the first stitch, one increase in the next. One single crochet, one increase. One single crochet and then one increase. And we should have 18 single crochets at the end. Slip a stitch on top of the first single crochet. Then we are going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine chains. Beginning in the second one from the hook, we're going to make a slip stitch. One more slip stitch. Single crochet. Then half double crochet. Half double crochet. Double crochet in the next two. And then we're going to make one triple crochet in the last. We are going to skip one and two stitches and in the third make one slip stitch. And we are going to repeat nine chains, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then we are going to, we are going to start by making two slip stitches one single crochet, two half double crochets, two double crochets, and, and in the last chain, we're going to make a triple crochet. Skip two stitches, and in the third, one, two, here we are going to make a slip stitch and we are going to continue repeating this all the way to the end okay when we finish uh just a slip stitch here to join one chain and we can cut the turn and we have six of these patterns Okay, I will start by wrapping the stem and hot glue to the top. Okay, first we are going to take one of these small ones. Add 
add glue and we are going to fold it like this add hot glue to the other side and we are going to bring it on top of the water side like this press and let it dry now grab the last small one we are going to place it in front of this Make sure it's at the same height. Add that glue to one side. Press it. Then we're going to start with the medium size. We're going to place it. Um, okay, grab the medium size and just put it like this. Add hot glue to one side. Into the other side and we're going to let it dry a little bit. Then we're going to start here almost on the middle of this one. We are going to see here, a little bit here. And we are going to add the hot glue. And then we're going to add the last of the medium size. If you want to make a smaller rose, you can just leave it like this and add the, this part. Next, we're going to start um, with the large petals. We're going to start here. Actually, you can start on any space here. Add hot glue.
And the last one is going to be here. Okay, then we are going to add this part here. If you want, you can cut this ends here. And for the, this end, we just cut a little bit here. We can add hot glue here to secure it. And now we're going to add hot glue to this part here. And we are going to let it dry a little bit. If you want, you can leave it like this, or you can add hot glue. And for the leaf, we just need to add here hot glue. You can um, attach it to this side or the other one. Just like this. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, and share on your social media. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you and have a wonderful day.